Hi, this is Kate Larson, and I'm going to demonstrate a uh, dizzing technique using a blending board that Kim McKenna describes and uses for um, to create a shawl in spin-off spring, spring 2022. So she is loading fiber in strips that are no bigger than the width of the diz that you're working with. And which of the diz holes you're going to select depends on how thick you want your final yarn to be. So if you want very heavy yarn, you would need thicker fiber. I'm gonna use the middle hole in this case, and I have a diz here that includes a very nice threader. So I'm gonna start down here on the very bottom and put this little bit of fringe at the end through the diz and I am going to pull that through and when I see it start to get thin on the board and you'll notice that I have the diz so that it is facing with the concave side towards the board I'm going to pull this up now and it's going to sit flat on the board I'm going to use my left hand to cradle the fiber and my right hand to draft. If you prefer having your, an your hands in the other position, totally fine. So the first thing I'm gonna do is slide this forward just a little bit. I'm gonna pinch the fiber where it's coming out of the orifice and use my extra finger to kind of pull this back. And you can see it drafting. You may even be able to hear it. And then I'm gonna move this forward, pinch, draft back and slide forward. And once you get into a rhythm, it goes pretty quickly. But I'm drafting it back and Kim describes that as being the key to getting a smooth blend because it is being attenuated through the carding cloth. So in her article, Kim discusses how she created these smooth, uh, really complex variegated solid preparations using both uh, solid dyed rovings and hand painted cone tops. And then she did two different shawls using this method and it's just so much fun. So you can use up odd bits of fibers in your stash things that have languished without purpose. When you get to the end, you may have a little tangly bit. I usually just pull that guy off. And I'm going to roll this up into a tidy little nest. And it is ready to spin.